And of course, I was accused of being a liar until thankfully I found this note. Were you told by anybody serving in His Majesty's Government that you should in any way, shape or form slow down or minimise payments or redress to sub-postmasters? Yeah, let me just uh, answer that question uh, by, uh, so I think you used the phrase, nod and a wink. So let me say exactly what, what took place. Uh, I met Ms. 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 Mumby for an introductory meeting in January of last year. Uh, I went through the many challenges uh, that we face at dysfunctional governance, uh, unreliable systems, uh, inadequate controls, uh, loss make, a hugely loss-making business, all the issues around uh, remediation and, and a poor culture. Uh, and I said, this is a three to five year turnaround situation at the post office. Uh, and I had in mind that it was probably the, the latter rather, rather than the, the, the former. Uh, she said in response to that, this, there's, this is no time for long-term planning. Uh, she said money is tight at the Treasury uh, and you need to really understand that. And I said, well, in terms of trying to hold back, there are only three levers of big cash outflows that we can pull. One is the inquiry costs, which are significant. One is compensation and one is the replacement to Horizon, which, which, is, which is the, the biggest la lever. Uh, and I said, um, you know, that's, and I, and I said, actually, in, in detail, I said, the inquiry, the costs will have to be what they, have, what they will be, surely. The, in respect of uh, compensation, uh, we need to be, uh, uh, to do the right thing by postmasters in, in taking this money. Uh, and uh, we're in dire need of a new, of a, of a new system. Uh, and, and she said, Again, repeat it again, money is very tight. This is no time to, to rip off the Band-Aid. Uh, and I was left in no doubt that uh, uh, this, is, this was not a time to rip off the Band-Aid. And I'd have to look at those three levers. So, uh, and I went back to, I sent the, the note. It was such an unusual conversation that I did a full note of it, actually used, putting in quotation marks what, what, what I was told. Um, and so I went, and of course, I was accused of being a liar until thankfully I found this note uh, just, just a few days ago. Uh, and it, since then, I think uh, the, the focus has changed from nobody said that to what did it mean? And I just explained what it meant. Uh, I went to see Nick Reed, and I said, uh, what, what do you make of this? And he said, they live in a different world. And... Uh, he, he said to me, what do you want me to do about this? And, and, I, uh, and I said, well, I think there's nothing we can do about the inquiry. The costs will be what they have to be, although we should just look at the legal costs. They're clearly just out of control. Uh, we should do, uh, uh, on, on compensation, actually, we, we should accelerate. We, this, this is just the morally right thing to do. We should accelerate on compensation. But of the biggest element, which was the horizon system. I said, look, we've been put on notice. Money is very tight. There's no room for a begging bowl. There's no room for mistakes. We need to be absolutely sure on, on the spend. So I didn't say s slow down to meet the Treasury. I just said we just need to be, I'd like to take a double take myself on what this is all about in terms of how we proceed. Because, we, because there's no begging bowl, we've only got one chance of, of investing in the horizon replacement system and, and getting it right. So that, that is the full story mm. of, of what took place. So I think... Can I just be really so, clear? So the nod, your nod and a wink phrase was, was, was... I thought, well, that just about sums it up.